Bei unserem Thema Literacy and Gender in diesem Jahr diskutieren wir besonders den mangelnden Zugang von Mädchen und Frauen zur Bildung in den Entwicklungsländern, aber auch die Situation von Jungen hier in den Industrieländern. Dazu fand ein sehr guter Vortrag von unserem Keynote-Speaker Michael Kimmel statt, der in Amerika mittlerweile ein sehr bekannter Autor ist und wahrscheinlich jetzt auch in Deutschland bekannt wird. When we teach girls, it's all about gender. It's all about leadership and, and, and confronting these kinds of stereotypes of traditional femininity. And women have done an amazing job with that. We have done a very poor job in engaging boys with questions of masculinity. It's amazing that just at the moment that there are all these programs to engage women in the developed world, such as women in math, STEM programs, science, math, engineering, and technology, or programs to engage young girls in leadership and literacy, and, and, and just at that moment in the developed world, we have this big crisis about boys like poor boys are being left behind. Um, and in the developing world, of course, there's an, a special issue about girls' literacy because it's men and boys who prevent them from getting access to the kinds of, uh, of, of opportunities that they would have for education. So men are deeply involved in this question. The question of literacy is both a, a, a question for women and for men. It's a question for both girls and for boys. Because basically, what do we, when do we say boys will be boys? We say boys will be boys when they do something bad, right? When they screw up, when they, you know, oh, you know, they, when they screw up, when they don't do something, when they're irresponsible, oh, well, boys will be boys. How can we never say, like, a man won the Nobel Peace Prize? Well, boys will be boys. My particular interest is why is it that boys consider being disengaged from school a sign of their masculinity? Any policy, any development, any program that we develop that is going to re-engage boys in their schooling uh, is going to bump up against these ideas of masculinity. So that seems to me to be the place that we have to focus some of our energy. So very often literacy is only confined to reading and writing, but the speaking and listening skills are underestimated. For the first time in the past three years, we've seen a significant tipping point where young people are consuming information um, in non-text-based forms through technology. And in terms of what we mean by literacy, that's what I think is perhaps the most exciting challenge. Today has been a very rich day in terms of dialogue, the possibility of hearing what is going on when in India or Iran or here in Germany. I think the idea of LitCam is to establish a space in which there is a possibility of dialogue between different countries, between different cultures, between different positions on literacy and I think this is the way forward, this is a fundamental is a fundamental space for, for an exchange of, of real quality. So this is my first time at the LitCam conference in Germany. I've attended one in India and I'm finding it really, really interesting because I have never thought of the role that the publisher can play in literacy, education, improving the ability to write. And to me, that discussion is the one that's the most important. So I'm learning a lot from it. And I hope to use that when I go home to change the way we publish and to involve many more women in writing and to be much more involved in the literacy campaign. We started uh, the cooperation a couple of months ago and uh, talked to LitCam, to LitProm and also the Goethe Institute because we were looking for good partners and the opportunity to work together on that important project and the conference shows that that was the right decision.